Question five. The heights of females from a country are normally distributed with a mean of 166.5 centimeters and a standard deviation of 6.1 centimeters. Given that 1% of females from this country are shorter than K centimeters, find the value of K. So for this, we're gonna to need to look at our standardized values. So in our formula booklet, we have some standardized values for a normal distribution. So we're looking at a 1% value. So percentage of one is here in our table, 2.3263. And so considering a normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, to find a probability of 1% or less, then on a standardized normal distribution, I need to be less than 2.3263. Now to convert our standardized values into our actual normal distribution, the standard value Z is equal to the X value we want minus our mean divided by our standard deviation. And so for our distribution, we've got our Z value just found to be minus 2.3263. We've got the value of height that we want to find, k, subtract our mean, which is 166.5, divided by our standard deviation, which is 6.1. Multiplying up by 6.1 and then adding 166.5, we find k to be 152.30 and so on. Part B, find the proportion of females from this country with heights between 150 and 175 centimeters. So I want the probability between 150 and 175, which I can find on my calculator. So let's go to stats mode number seven, and I want a normal cumulative distribution. So number two, my lower bound, I'm looking between 150 and my upper bound of 175. My standard deviation is 6.1 and my mean is 166.5, which gives me an answer of 0 0.9148 and so on. And hopefully I've just shown that to be 0 0.9148 and so on. A female from this country is chosen at random from those with heights between 150 and 175. For part C, I want to find the probability that her height is more than 160. Well, what we have is what's the probability of her height being more than 160, given that we already know her to be between 150 and 175 centimetres. And so we have our given that formula. When we have a given that probability, then it's the same as the probability of these two things being together. So the probability of being greater than 160 and in between 150 and 175 is the probability of being between 160 and 175. And that should be divided by the probability of being between 150 and 175, which we've already found to be 0 0.9148 and so on. This, of course, can be found on our calculator. And so returning to our calculator, we know we're going to need this 0.9148. So let's just store this as A for now. And we want to find the probability between 160 and 175. So going back to our normal cumulative distribution, let's change the lower bound to 160. The upper bound is still 175 our standard deviation and our mean remain unchanged. And so our probability between 160 and 175 is our 0 0.7749 and so on, which we can now divide by our stored answer of A. So if we go to menu one, our answer that we previously found, the 0 0.7 and so on is stored as answer. And I can divide that by, if I go alpha, a divide by the A that was stored and I get an answer of 0 0.847 and so on. 
and hopefully we've just seen that to be 0.847 and so on. The heights of females from a different country are normally distributed with a standard deviation of 7.4. Mia believes that the mean height of females from this country are less than 166.5 centimeters. Mia takes a random sample of 50 females from this country and finds the mean of her sample is 164.6. Part D, carry out a suitable test to assess Mia's belief. We should state our hypothesis clearly and use a 5% level of significance. So firstly, we have our original mean to be 166.5. So our null hypothesis is that our mean is 166.5. Mia supposes that the mean is less than 166.5, so that is the hypothesis we wish to test. We have a normal distribution here again of 50 females. Our mean is assumed initially to be 166.5 and our variance is found by our standard deviation squared divided by the number we are looking at. And so we've got 7.4 squared divided by 50 as our variance. And so using this distribution, we want to find the probability that somebody is found to be less than 164.6 centimeters, as that is the mean she found of her sample. On our calculator, we want to go to menu number seven, and we need cumulative distribution number two. Our lower bound, uh, of course, a uh, female cannot be less than zero, so our lower bound is zero. Our upper bound is our 100 and 64.6. Our standard deviation is the square root of our variance. So that is the square root of our 7.4 squared divided by 50. Because we had the variance of our distribution. And then our mean is 166.5. And we get a value of 0 0.0347 and so on. We get our value to be 0 0.034 and so on. Since this 0 0.034 is less than 0 0.05, which is a 5% significance, there is evidence to reject H0 and so Mia's belief is supported that the mean is actually less than 166.5.